Configuring UDP requests in SOX IP application is hands down the simplest VPN setup anyone can configure in under a minute. Today I'll show you exactly how it's done. Let's not wait any longer, grab your phone, and let's dive into the tutorial. Before we begin, it's important to ensure that your mobile data connection is enabled and that you have a data package allowing internet access. Next, head to the Play Store on your phone and install the SOX IP application. If you already have the application installed, check for any updates. If there's an update available, it's important to install it before following the tutorial. Once you've completed the installation or update, proceed to open the application. If you had previously installed the application and imported configurations, it's important to clear the configuration in the application before setting up the UDP requests. To do this, simply tap on the vertical three dots to access the menu and then select Import or Export. Next, choose Reset Config to clear any configurations you imported before. Now, let's proceed to configure the UDP requests. On the left side of the application screen, tap on the gear icon to open the configuration tunnel mode. Then, tap Request Tunnel to open the list of tunnel modes available in SOX IP. From the drop-down menu, select UDP Request, and then tap on Configure UDP Request to open up the configuration window. First, make sure the UDP request type is set to Free Server. Then, tap on the box to enable binding. In the end port section, enter 65535 and tap on Save Settings at the bottom of the window. At the top right corner of the application, tap on the crown icon to load servers. Choose the server you prefer. You'll be prompted to watch a 30-second ad to gain access to the server. After the ad is finished, tap on the close button to load the server. Your configuration is now set. Head back to the main interface of the application and tap the start button. You might come across an advertisement, just wait until you can skip the ad at the top right of the screen to close the ad. You are now connected to your UDP configuration. Open a browser and try visiting a website to enjoy the power of UDP. Now let me show you how to export the configuration and share it. First, make sure you disconnect the connection. Now, tap on the three vertical dots at the top right corner of the application. Select Import or Export, and then select Export. Allow the SOX IP to access photos, media, and files on your device. Once the export configuration form opens, enter a name you want to give to your file. After that, you can lock your file from being edited by anyone you share it with. In my case, I prefer to choose Block All, which will block the host, payload, password, server, and proxy of the configuration. You can also lock the configuration with Hardware ID or block other devices using their ID. Another feature is to set an expiration date for the file. In the Lock Sniffers section, you have the option to block the configuration from Wi-Fi, which prevents anyone who imports the configuration can't use Wi-Fi to connect to the file. Additionally, you can block all rooted Android phones from importing the connection configuration file. You can also add instructions or messages to your file, which will be displayed in the application log session whenever the user connects to the file. Once you've completed the form, tap the Export Config button to save the configuration. So, where can you find your exported files? Join me as I guide you through locating the configuration file. First, open the File Explorer on your phone and select the internal storage. Navigate through the file folders and find the SOX IP folder. Tap to open it, and you'll find all the configurations you've exported. Thanks for watching our tutorial on configuring UDP in SOX IP. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech guides and tips. If you have questions or need further assistance, drop them in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to notify you of our latest uploads. See you next time!